So, the next topic is dehydration reaction. Dehydration. What do you mean dehydration? Hydration means addition of water. Dehydration means removal of water. Removal of water from where? From ethylene glycol. So, ethylene glycol formula CH2OH and CH2OH. We are going to heat we are going to heat the ethylene glycol with 773 Kelvin. How much Kelvin? 773 Kelvin. That time, removal of one water molecule. What is remaining? Only one O is remaining. Ethylene epoxide will form. CH2 bond, CH2 bond O. Nothing but what? Ethylene epoxide. Ethylene epoxide. Very same thing. It ethylene glycol reacts with anhydrous green chloride. So that CH2OH like this you can write CH2OH another one is CH2OH they are going to react with anhydrous green chloride. Now removal of water. How removal of water means 1H uh, 1OH removal of water. Okay. So this bond will come and join here to make a double bond. So, you can write like this C2 H1 C2 hydrogen atom. So, all together C H2. What is remaining? Double bond. So, what is remaining? C H O H. This is an unstable compound. This is an unstable compound followed by replacement reaction takes place. That means one hydrogen atom will come from here to here. This, this bond will go there to form a single bond. So, CH2 become a CH3, remaining CHO. So, what is remaining is CHO, here CH3. CH3 is CH2 namely, acetaldehyde is a product. The product, acetaldehyde is a product. Okay. So, initially, it, when you are heating ethylene glycol at 773 Kelvin, you will get ethylene epoxide. Then, you are going to heat in the presence of anhydrous zinc chloride. That time, you get an one intermediate compound that is unstable, followed by replacement reaction takes place you will get a acetaldehyde molecule. What is the formula for acetaldehyde? CH3, CH2 is the formula of acetaldehyde. Followed by intermolecular dehydration reaction. It's very important reaction, not only in three more parts, for problem part is very important. For problem part is very important. Intermolecular dehydration of alcohol. Intermolecular dehydration using concentrated phosphoric acid. Intermolecular, what do you mean dehydration? Removal of water. Intermolecular mean two different molecules. Okay. So, two different things like all, we are going to remove one water molecule using concentrated phosphoric acid. Concentrated phosphoric acid. Okay, we will see now. Intermolecular dehydration. Intermolecular Intermolecular dehydration reaction. Initially, what ethylene glycol now? So, CH2OH and CH2OH, one of the ethylene glycol. I am going to take two ethylene glycol so that another ethylene glycol CH2OH and CH2OH. So, two ethylene glycol. Now, I am going to add which one? Concentrated phosphoric acid means H3PO4. H3PO3 mean phosphorus acid. H3PO4 mean phosphoric acid. I am going to heat, heat. Now, removal of water because dehydration, removal of water. So, only O is in between. So, O is in between. How to write? OH, CH2 bond CH2. Here also as it is OH, remaining is CH2, CH2. The in between is what? 1O. This named that named as diethylene glycol. Named as what? Diethylene glycol. Diethylene glycol. Okay, followed by very same thing ethylene uh, ethylene glycol reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid. The first step you'll get the you'll get diethylene glycol, followed by again you are going to add concentrated sulfuric acid. You will get a cyclic product namely dioxone. Cyclic product namely 
dioxane. Okay, now we are going to use concentrated sulfuric acid. Initially, two molecules of acetylene glycol. So, you can write like this CH2OH, 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 two molecules of acetylene glycol. I am going to add concentrated sulfuric acid because that is the best dehydrating agent. Best dehydrating agent, you are going to remove this water. So, what is it remaining is this oxygen. So, you will get diethylic glycol. CH2OH, here is CH2. Very simply, here is CH2OH, here is CH2. Oh, in between is O. That name is what? Diethylene glycol. Followed by again, I am going to add concentrated sulfuric acid. Concentrated sulfuric acid. Now, molecule also removed. So, what is remaining? Only one oxygen. This will come in the middle. So, make a cyclic compound namely dioxane. So, you can get the product like this. CH2 bond CH2. Here also CH2 bond CH2. In between is O. Here also O. A cyclic compound namely dioxane. It's very important for problem part. Okay. Very important for problem part. First two molecules of ethylene glycol react in the presence of concentrated phosphoric acid. You will get a linear compound namely diethylene glycol. Followed by next step is two molecules of ethylene glycol react with concentrated sulfuric acid because concentrated sulfuric acid is the best dehydrating agent. So, you will get finally a linear diethylene glycol. Followed by again you are going to add concentrated sulfuric acid. You got the dioxane as a cyclic compound. Okay.